Hello everybody, Jason Dieter coming to you live from SJF Material Handling in Winstead, Minnesota. Hold on tight because I'm going to fly through a lot of content in a short amount of time. Let's briefly discuss the differences in Interlake Old Style Teardrop, Interlake New Style, as well as how to identify them. First up, this is an example of an Old Style Teardrop Upright Post. And this is an example of an Old Style Teardrop Beam Connector. This gets welded onto the end of the beam and the two go together like this. This is an example of an Interlake New Style Pallet Rack Post. And this is an example of an Interlake New Style Pallet Rack Beam Connector. This too gets welded onto the end of the beam and the two go together like this. Now a lot of people have asked over the years, can we mix the two? Well, yes and no. You cannot take an Old Style Teardrop End Connector and put it into an Interlake New Style Upright. You can, however, take an Interlake New Style Connector and put it into an old style teardrop upright. Now sometime back in the late 90s, a rack manufacturer said, hmm, I need to take our teardrop design and make a clip that works in Interlake New Style, Interlake Old Style, as well as the type of teardrop that we design and manufacture now. This is what they came up with, something similar to this. It has got a shaved pin rather than a perfectly round button rather than a hook. This will go into Interlake New Style, Interlake Old Style, as well as any teardrop design that's out there. Now fast forward to today. SJF Material Handling is one of Interlake Material Handling's largest distributors in the United States of pallet rack materials. Interlake recently came up with a new end connector. So here's a quick look at this. I'm Jason Dieter, I'm at SJF, and I'm out.